Hey guys, welcome back. And for today's video, what you'll need is jeans, some type of string, ruler, scissors, and some glue. So here is just what the jeans look like before. And before we get into today's video, don't forget to stop what you're doing and subscribe and turn on those post notifications and the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is lay those jeans out and we're going to grab your ruler or anything that you use to measure and basically all i did was just measured how long that side of the jean was and then i split it in half so the measurement that i got was basically eight and i went to i split that in half which was four and then based off the four I just marked, I just put those um, pieces of tape evenly apart from where like the four was. I hope that makes sense. But basically, you just put the tape down and then I, I made sure that from each side, from each side of the jean to the tape that it was even. So yes, that's how I did it. And then I just went down and you just decide how far down you want it to go. And then yes. And then also the first part, the thickness of how wide you want that to be is up to you. So yeah, I just put it to where I wanted it to be. And then I went ahead and figured out how long I wanted it to be. And I just put tape down there. So when it's time to cut, I knew exactly where to stop it. And here, just me showing you, I went ahead and cut down, and all I did was just cut straight down the center between both of those pieces of tape. And then at the top, I went ahead and uh, cut some on both sides, making that a little flat. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do the bottom part. And all, all you're doing is I just measured how long it was, how far apart it was at the top. And that's what I'm doing right now. Just using my ruler to guide me to make sure I'm not cutting it too long. And you're literally just going to cut like a little slit on both sides, making it like a little flap that you can fold under. Just like how I'm doing. Boom, that's the first one. And you just do that on the same, on the, do the same thing on the other side. And don't mind my toes throughout the video. It's very hard to try not to get in, in the video when I'm doing this on the ground. So the positions that I'm in is, is kind of hard for my toes not to be in there. Sorry. But yes, once you go ahead and get both of those cut, you can go ahead and remove that tape. So see how you have a little, you could just bend that over, fold that over on both sides. So once you're done, you want to go ahead and grab something to put in those jeans so that you don't get glue on the other side. And that's, it's so random, but I had foil laying around for a project I did. So yes, just go ahead and put something in there. Anything that you can find around the house, just put it in there so that you don't get glue on the other side of the jean. Once you're done doing that, we're going to go ahead and grab our glue. And 
and what we're gonna do now is just basically what I would call hemming but you're just gluing it so what you got to do is that top part right there this is optional it's up to you but I want it to look cleaner so what I'm doing is I'm just going to put glue under there and I'm going to fold it under just like how you would do if you were hemming something and we're also going to put glue on both of those straps and you see how I'm tucking it under that's exactly how we're going to glue it down so yes I'm using a q-tip right now to put the glue on there just because I just don't want it on my fingers for real, but I ended up just using straight out of the tube. So yes, and with using E6000, a little it goes a long way. So you don't need to put a whole lot of glue on on the jeans because you don't want the jeans to be real hard from the glue. So a little is a lot. Just get it enough on there to where it will stick down. So yes, I had to keep putting a a little amount on there because my e6000 is a little bit older so yes you just want to go ahead and fold that back and glue that down just like i'm doing and as you can see i'm just i was just folding it under just trying to get it right keep putting glue on there under it and just fixing it once you finish doing that part we're gonna go ahead and flip that first side back and all I'm doing is literally just putting glue right down the end of that side of the slip I'm just putting glue right down the side of it and all I'm gonna do is flip it under and glue it down it's literally so simple but also just continue to watch the amount of glue you're putting on there and you're just gonna go ahead and glue that whole entire side down you're gonna put glue on there and fold it under just like that And once you've done that side, I'm going to go ahead and repeat that process and glue down the other side. And also guys, don't forget to go check out any of my previous videos and don't forget to go like and comment on them and share to your whole family and let everybody know. And I went ahead and glued down that bottom part as well like we did the first part at the top. We're just going to repeat that process and glue it under and make it like you're hemming it. And see how simple that was? Now, what I did was I let my jeans dry for a couple of hours before I did this next step so that my glue would be at least a little hard. So here's that's what it looks like after a couple of hours of drying and I went ahead and removed the foil and right now I just took my sharpest scissors that I have because it's very pointy and I'm, all I'm doing is just poking the hole right there where I want my first hole to be. So you could determine how far away from the side you want it. All that is determined up to you but basically you just see what I'm doing. I'm just poking holes on both sides and making sure that they're even across from each other. And you can also determine how far apart you want them to be and how many you want them, how many you want. So that's all up to you. But yes, 
the next thing you're gonna do is go ahead and just poke those holes in and you don't need the holes to be big you want to try to keep them as small as possible so that when we put our string in there they're not going to like rip through or anything so they don't need to be big holes So you're just going to go ahead and continue that process all the way down, making sure that you're putting these holes evenly across from each other. So guys, don't forget to like this video and comment below. And now, once you're done poking your holes, you're going to go ahead and grab your string. And this string, I got it from Walmart for $3. And it was perfect for this project. So it's very obvious what we're going to do next. We're just going to go ahead and put these strings through the holes. And since the holes were little... I did, it did take me a little bit to get them through. I laid the string where the hole was and I just used the scissors to help me poke it through. So that helped me do it way faster than me just trying to push it through. So yes, don't go trying to make the holes really big because you're having a hard time. Just use the scissors to help poke the string through. And once you get it through the first two holes, you want to make sure you pull that string out and make sure that both sides of the string are even before you go ahead and finish the rest of the jeans so yeah that's what you see me doing even though it's sped up i went ahead and made sure the strings were even and then i went ahead and continued and i did i crisscrossed them and that's easy all you do is just go from one side to the other And this is the last step, guys. So once you want ahead, go ahead and finish lacing up those jeans. You have you some laced up jeans, guys. And that's, as you can see, I'm just using the scissors. Like I said, to make it so much easier. And here is the final product. It is so cute. And drop it in the comments below if you think I should do both sides of these jeans. And I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something from today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video.